Hello, and welcome back to Hollow Knight with Brian. I am in the Soul Sanctum, and I was just in the mood to fight some bosses today, and we have a number of these dream bosses, kind of the second version, harder versions of bosses that we fought in the past. And so I thought I would start things off by going after this guy. And so basically you'll recall that he is the guy who gave us the desolate dive. The crazy ground pound stompy thing uh, and has a number of crazy attacks. What's his name? Soul Tyrant is the second form. There we go. <laughs> so that's what he does. Right. Okay, and I have not fought this guy or practiced this in a long time. So this should be interesting. Ouch. And I also did not kind of optimize my. Oop. Oh boy my build, as it were, for boss fighting, so I'm not sure how this will go. So I'm probably going to take a lot of damage and die a few times at the beginning here. Ah, boy. Okay, there we go. Oops. Ah, come on. <laughs> Alright, not doing super great right now. Don't sweat it. I'm sure it'll get better. Look at this, I got some heals. Okay, I got a couple of heals in there and only lost one back. But I don't think I've even gotten this guy stunned yet. Like at some point he should kind of wither away for a moment and I'll have a moment to heal. All right, and I need to work better, ouch, on dodging that attack. Because it's a rather simple attack, but I'm not good at dodging it. Okay, I got a heal in there. Let's focus on actually dealing some damage and gaining some more soul. Okay. With the double jump, I can avoid that when he does his, like, fake-out move and then ends up stomping the ground a second time. Oh, boy. Okay, now I really need to heal. Oh, boy. Okay, I managed to dodge that. Let's try to jump up through here. Alright, I managed to dodge the file balls, but run into him, I think. Okay, that was good. I managed to get a hit there. Oh boy. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> that was our practice run. <laughs> um, now I've got kind of a feel, once again, for what he is like. And I should take a quick glance at my charms. Uh, what am I wearing? Yeah, I still have the compass on, and I guess the thorns have kind of been helping me. Let's try them out another time or two, and then I might readjust my charms to try to optimize for this particular fight. Uh, a nice thing about the fighting the dream bosses is you don't actually lose your shade when you die in the dream. You just kind of wake up. Okay. Let's do a better job. Okay, he's going to do three of those, right? Yeah. Oh, nope, now he's doing more. So maybe it's more than three. And he's very hard to hit when he does the downward stomp. There's that one again, which I still need to work on dodging, but that is a great opportunity to get some heals in. And that is good. I need to work on getting a hit when he goes across the bottom of the screen like that. That's a great time to do a downward stomp for a free hit. Ah, uh, I walked right into that one. That was foolish. Okay, I got the downward stomp again. Okay. And now over here. Uh, I really need to work on timing that. And I don't have any soul to heal right now, so I need to get more hits in. Ouch. And even though thorns do a lot of damage, I'm not sure that it's my best strategy to be wearing the thorns charm right now. Okay, I want to be far away from him, darn it, when he shoots those, because when he's close to me and shoots those, I don't seem to have time to react. Okay, let's do that. But yeah, I have a lot of problems going on here in this one. Okay, gotten better at that move anyway. And I'm doing okay at dodging the downward strikes, so that's not so bad. Hey, I managed to dodge that. Okay, that's good. Okay. Ah, 
Ah, that's not the right place to stand, though. I do have to jump when those come by. I just still don't have a good sense. I'm very poor at uh, kind of rotating targets, I feel like, in general, in terms of dodging them. And the fact that I haven't gotten him kind of, like, wither away once makes me think that I'm not dealing nearly enough damage to kill this guy. I'm going to give it one more attempt, and then I'm going to go try reconfiguring my charms and see if I can do anything better uh, to deal more damage. Some people have criticized me to the fact that I haven't been using any of the fragile charms, which actually do have some nice bonuses, and so I definitely should consider that. But I have a wide variety of charms that I really haven't been using much, and it might be time to bring some of them to bear in some of these boss fights. All right, I'm gonna focus. And I guess the number of times that he shoots the random fireball at you is random. <laughs> the random fireball is random. Um, ooh, I think I was all filled up there and I just wasted a heal. That's unfortunate. All right, gotta pay more attention to that at the start of the fight too, if I've got the uh, lifeblood hearts. And I might be able to get more than one down stomp hit on him there. Ouch. Yeah, that time he shot two fireballs. Okay, in the middle. Darn it, I got hit again. Multiple times. Ouch. Oh boy. Poop. Okay. That is also potentially a chance to heal when he goes across the screen like that, if I can get him early enough. So let's try to remember that. And in here... Okay. Ah, I can jump in between them. I see. And now we managed to get him to wither for a moment. Okay, so that's progress in the fight. But I think I have to, like, wither him, like, four times like that. So we're still a long way from being able to beat this guy. And it's mostly due to the fact that I'm never getting any hits on him. Need to work on this. Oh, and then need to not do foolish things like that. Okay. Uh, let me go think about my charms, and we'll come back and try this again. Alright, I've chosen to swap out my charms thusly. I'm keeping the Mark of Pride for extra reach, but I've got on two different lifeblood things so that I don't have to worry about healing at all, and I just have a bunch of maximum uh, health capacity and Nailmaster's Glory because I was completely forgetting to ever use any of my charged Nailmaster attacks, and I think that those could be valuable. I'm not sure if this is the best strategy, but at least it's a different one. And so we're going to give this a shot with a few tries and see how well I can do against him. And since I don't need to worry about healing at all, since all of my hearts are lifeblood hearts that can't be healed, I just need to focus about dodging and occasionally dealing good damage. So let's see how it goes. There's a shot. Okay, we're going to try to dodge this. I did not dodge it. That's a shame. All right. And then I should be charging my attack. Darn it, missed. <laughs> there, I got a good shot there. Okay, that's good. Ah, darn it. Ah. All right, come on, Brian, you can do this. Okay, got a uh, charged Nail Master shot there. That's good. Missed my opportunity there. That was good. That was good. Although I took some damage. Oh boy, okay. Okay, I'm getting better at hitting him with that at least. Okay, got another good hit in there. But I'm taking too much damage is the problem, so I need to focus on dodging a bit more. Alright. Got a sense of this. I'm not sure that I'm going to do great on it, and I'm not good at charging up my Nail Master attacks, and so I'm not sure that that's necessarily the right charm for me. But let's give it a couple more attempts. Mm -hmm. 
During the previous fight, I realized that if I am not going to be using any of my soul to heal, I ought to be able to use it offensively, and so I need to remember to actually shoot my spell from a distance when I have the opportunity. So as I build up soul, I need to be prepared to do that. So hopefully I will be remembering to do that now. Of course, I have to actually hit him once in order to actually get any soul to be able to shoot. Oh my goodness. Okay, not off to a great start on this one. I think I'm starting to get better at dodging that attack, though. There we go. Okay, so that was a good dodge on that. And then let's look for the opportunity to hit him with a shot from my... What do you call spell? There we go. Good. Okay. Oh boy. Hey, cut it out. You're a meanie. <laughs> ah, darn it. I missed that. Okay. Uh, let's take a risk. Okay, man, just hit him. It's hard to predict where he's going to be, and so it is hard to assuredly get off a shot. There we go, with your spell. Uh, but I've been pretty fortunate with my choices of timing so far. Ah, oh, I really thought I was going to dodge that one that time. Darn it, missed that one. Darn it. Come on. Okay, managed to wither him. Great. I can't heal, so just keep attacking. Ah, this should not be this hard to dodge. I really need to work on that one. I think one of the things that makes this boss particularly challenging is the fact that he has so many different attacks uh, that all come at random. Uh, and have very little telegraphing. I think if it was just a few number of attacks, even with short reaction times, I would be able to adapt to all of them. Uh, but because there's so many and each one needs a different reaction to successfully dodge the attack, uh, that's what kind of overtaxes my mental capabilities to keep track of everything that's going on. Darn. Oh, come on. I think I'm going to wither him a second time in this one, hopefully. Okay. There we go. Darn. Took a shot. Oh, I did get him. Good. And I got him there, too. Great. Okay. I'm going to jump through here. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. It's the wrong place to jump. Ah! Okay, here we go again. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> At least I didn't get hit. Cut it out! Quit being mean! You'd think one of these times you would listen to me and quit being mean. Alright, I think I am getting better at some of his attacks, and I think I know a... Uh, build with charms that might be better for me than the one I'm currently using. Okay, this time I'm trying a completely different build. I've got Hive Blood and Shaman Stone. This means I can use my soul offensively and deal more damage with it. And Hive Blood will slowly heal wounds. And so if I can go for about 10 seconds, my most recently uh, lost health piece will regenerate. And I think there are times during this battle where I can avoid managing to get damage for 10 seconds. So I think that will be useful to me to try to use that. So I want to focus on avoiding damage and then occasionally getting a good offensive spell in. All right, come on. Okay, okay, I took some damage there. Ouch. I took some more damage there, which is unfortunate. Let's try using Darn It, an offensive spell. It didn't work. Oh, and I took more damage. Come on. Okay. 
Okay, one of my life blood hearts grew back. That's great. Or one of my high blood hearts, whatever it's called. Okay. Good. I managed to hit him. Okay, and I'm gonna heal up because I can still do that. Okay. Ouch. Okay, so now I need to not take damage again for a little while. Come on, Hive Blood, do your thing. All right, got that Hive Blood heart back, great. So now I can probably do that. Ah, darn it, I took some damage again. All right, uh, let's let my Hive Blood heal that up, hopefully. Cool. All right. Yeah, I think the Hive Blood, just due to the nature of this battle and it's so long and prolonged, works in my favor. Oh, darn it. Okay, I can still hit him like this. There we go. And now just avoid damage again. There we go. Great. Ah, oh, I took some damage. All right, I'm going to wait because my Hive Blood's coming back. Okay. Ah, oh, I picked the wrong moment. Oh, darn it. That was foolish. Come on, Brian. All right, let's get Hive Blood to heal this, and then I'll try to find an opportunity to actually heal using Soul. Okay, I got to jump there. Ouch. Darn it. All right, I need to heal. Okay. Got a couple of heals in there. Now let's gain some more soul and see if I can get another good spot to heal, perhaps. Darn it. All right, Hive Blood, do your thing. Darn it. Ah. All right, come on, get some hits. Darn it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on, Brian. All right, we'll let Hive Blood do it. Oh, come on. I totally could have made that. I don't like this attack. I find it unpredictable. Here we go. Oh, I almost made it through. All right, I need to let Hive Blood do its thing again. All right, I could heal myself at this point if there's an opportunity, and there will be. There we go. Cool. Okay, I'm doing pretty well. I've already withered him once. Ah, let's see if we can get it to twice. Oh, I should have had that. Come on, Brian. Okay, that's a good opportunity. Hive Blood's going to do its thing, hopefully, here. Okay, good. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, you can parry those. I don't think I realized that before. That's pretty cool. I'm going to heal. Because it's one of the few opportunities I have, and he's withered, and now I can just hit him. Ah, oh, darn it. I thought I was going to hit him with the soul there, and I missed. Oh, darn it. Okay, now I'm doing poorly. Come on, Brian. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. Okay. We made it down to this stage. Uh, I can't heal, but he is going to attack me again, you'll recall. There he comes. Okay. Ah, oh, darn, he got me again. My high blood didn't have a chance to recover it. Is that it? Eight? No, nine? Okay, after nine... Then he sits here and shoots at me. Oh boy, come on. Oh, I should have used a charge attack there. Oh, okay. I know I can do it with this build. Um, I'm definitely capable. Once you get into that last stage of the fight, uh, I'd kind of forgotten exactly how it goes, and I didn't realize uh, just how many um, ground pounds he does before he takes damage. And then at that point, I could charge up attacks as well uh, and use um, Nail Master special attacks. So I think I have a strategy. Um... Yeah, I may be mostly silent during this. 
um, because it's very hard to provide useful commentary while concentrating this much. Let's see what I can do. Starting out with zero soul this time, but I don't think my soul number has been a big limitation. Okay. Okay, good. Ah, darn it. I screwed that up. Good. Hive blood brought me back. I'm back up to full health. Okay. I'm gonna take a risk. Okay, I missed. Oh, that was just unfair. He picked a really good spot to teleport. <laughs> okay, I managed to avoid that. High Blood's gonna bring this back. And then I get one of the easy ones. Oh boy, okay. I ran into that one. That one was my own fault. Okay, jump. Great. Got much better at that. Took a shot. I think I hit him. Okay. Good. I think I'm starting to get a chance uh, to understand places... Oh boy. Where I could profitably uh, use uh, Nail Master attacks as well. So I'm gonna think through that. Ah, darn it. Yeah, alright, don't do that. You had a working strategy, just stick with it. I chose not to heal there because I had the Hive Blood going, and if you heal, it kind of overrides the Hive Blood, and so I prefer to get the free unit of health from Hive Blood and then heal on my own terms later on. Ouch. Okay. Okay, High Blood has me all healed, so at this point if I find an opportunity to heal myself, like now, I can take it. Ah! Oh, good! I managed to avoid that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk. Don't know if I got him or not. He was off screen. But I feel like I'm doing okay. Ah, oh, I hate that attack. I really hate that one. <sighs> you and your stupid homing fireballs. Oh, cool. I got two shots on him there. That was great. I can heal. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get away with it. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I can heal again. I'm going to take the advantage. Let's do that. Get back up to full. Our soul is pretty low, but our health is good. Alright, we're doing well. Let's keep it up. Ah, I fell into that one, too. Alright, there we go. There's a shot. Yeah! Got a couple more hits in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm doing good now. All of a sudden, I know what I'm doing. Yes! Look at that! Oh, darn it, I took a hit there, though. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna let the Hive Blood do its thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win this one. Let's not call it too early, but... Um, I can let the Hive Blood heal back up here, because I think you have as much time as you want to go downstairs. I'll be at full health, still have some soul, and now I know how to dodge his attacks. Alright, come back. Ah, 
Darn it. I can't get charged attacks here because I can just quick slash. I don't have quick slash equipped, but I can slash very quickly. And get a lot of hits on him. Okay. Okay, here is where charge shot could be good. Ah, oh, come on. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, I defeated him. Hooray. <laughs> Whew. All right. I don't remember how many attempts that was. Probably a lot. What do you have to say? In my dreams, I could see it. The kingdom's salvation. The cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead. But I will live forever. Or you'll be absorbed by me and I'll get lots of essence. From 1200 up to 1500 which I think might be the next value uh, where we need to go back and visit oops, um, the seer. And so I'm going to head back there and see if with 1500 essence we have anything new that we can get. Back at the resting grounds, let's visit the seer and see if 1500 essence was the amount that I needed. Let me have a look at the dream nail. More than 1,500 essence. The dream nail is close, so close to fully awakening. Continue on your path. I know not what guides you, nor what it is that drives you forward. Once you've collected 1,800 essence, though, I'll be here waiting. Take this gift. May it grant you strength and help you to collect the essence of this world. Ooh, a mask shard. And let's see, I currently have three, six, seven, eight. I'm still missing some mask shards somewhere. I know where one of them is. Um, am I miscounting? Yeah, I have eight, and I think you can get up to ten. So I think that means there's still five mass shards in the world. I'm not sure where all of the missing ones are hiding. I do know, I do remember where one thing is hiding, though, that I've been meaning to go back for. And so to finish up this episode, I think let us travel back to Crystal Peak where there is a charm that I had forgotten about. And since we go to Dirtmouth along the way to Crystal Peak, it means we get an opportunity to pass by Zote and listen to a couple more of his 57 precepts. And so let's see what Zote has to say. Hey, buddy. Precept 14, respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength or intellect or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pro projecting, perhaps? Precept 15. One foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you've defeated. <laughs> There's a certain economy of reasoning or something that goes along with that, I suppose, so... I can't criticize it too much. Okay, so up here will bring us to Crystal Peak. And I think I remember where it is, but I'll meet you guys over there. Yeah, so over here is where Cornifer was, and I think just below here on the map, I recall that there is a secret that we did not get the first time going through. Ouch. Okay, I'm going to take some damage there, apparently. Oop, going to take a lot of damage here, apparently. <gasps> um, where is it? It's like on, on this wall somewhere, I think. Yeah, right here. Because uh, when you hit this little miner guy, I'm surprised that I haven't broken it open before, or maybe I started to break the wall and didn't notice. Uh, but it's a one place where you kind of like naturally would be hitting the wall by accident. Ooh! That almost looks like there's a hole in the ceiling up there, too. I don't know that there's anything over there. In any case, this is a place to use Crystal Dash. And we've got some stationary lasers that it looks like we need to Crystal Dash through. So it looks like there'll be an opportunity when they shut off here. Great. And then with double jump, it's easy for me to get around here. And then it looks like we got to do another crystal dashy kind of thing. Looks like the one on the left is the final laser. So now... Oops. All right. Can I still jump? Yes. Okay. Still managed to get through anyway. And this one goes really fast. And so I guess just as the last one is going away is when we need to go through. Yeah. All right. 
that was just kind of a timing puzzle. And I presume that that's going to be a way back, and this is going to be the way forward. So let's try going the way forward. Oh! Oh! This looked like it was going to be spiky things, but it's actually friendly crystals. Deep focus! So what is deep focus? Deep focus is a charm. Draws in soul from the surrounding air. The bearer will focus souls at a slower rate, but the healing effect will double. And so basically, like rather than taking one second to heal one heart, you can take like one and a half seconds to heal two hearts or something like that. Not sure if that's necessarily going to be useful, uh, but there are certain boss battles or certain situations where I can imagine that that would be a useful thing to have. And so that is something that we will have ready for next time. I see the hole in the ceiling that I saw must be right over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it all makes sense. Cool. All right. So I think that's probably a good place to go ahead and finish things up for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon with more Hollow Knight. Bye-bye.